in the foothills of the Andes in central Chile, an enclave of German immigrants called Villa Baviera tries to erase its unspeakable past. Martin Matusen is in charge of the bakery and sausage factory. Like almost everyone, he speaks with a heavy German accent, even though he was born here. Before we lived separated from our parents and siblings, people couldn't marry. We weren't paid. Now I have a salary and regular hours. So does Jürgen Surgelis, who works at the restaurant hotel complex. I am happy being a waiter here. We are part of Chile and the world now. I am happy and I am free. Its original name was the Dignity Colony. Today, the 140 square kilometer enclave is trying to reinvent itself as an ecotourism resort. A strange twist for what was once a house of horrors. The colony was set up in 1962 by a former Nazi paramedic and self proclaimed preacher named Paul Schaeffer. 300 believers left war torn Germany and followed him to Chile to establish a charity. But once here, Schaeffer and his inner circle turned the isolated colony into a fortified prison for the residents, as well as a torture center during Chile's military dictatorship. At ground level, it was innocent looking enough. This was a place used to store potatoes. But come this way, down these stairs, this was a torture chamber used to interrogate real or suspected opponents of the Pinochet regime. For more than 40 years, before, during and after the dictatorship, the colony operated as a state within a state. La Colonia... The colony was a criminal and pedophile organization and intelligence service run as a sect. For decades, it was a concentration camp of forced labor and permanent sexual abuses. Lawyer Hernan Fernandez was the first to press charges against Schaeffer for raping dozens of Chilean boys. Finally, in 2005, Schaeffer was tried and sent to prison. But it wasn't until earlier this year that most of his top accomplices were also jailed. Residents confirmed they were systematically abused, beaten, and force-fed with drugs to break their will to rebel. But even though the gates are now open, some people have chosen to stay. All our family's lives of work and sacrifice are here. I have nothing else, so I am trying to throw out the bad and take advantage of the good, because I feel this place is mine, too. Some are outraged at the attempt to turn all this into a cheerful Bavarian resort. And there are still many unanswered questions about who covered up the horrors and why. But there are those who feel they have a right to try to salvage something from the place where they sacrifice their youth, their health, and their sanity. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Parral, Chile.